Alright, what's up everybody? How everybody doing? Welcome to another motherfucking video on the Denomis Official Podcast, you know what I mean? Today, what's up? <laughs> Today we're gonna talk about escaping the motherfucking matrix. We're about to do we we already escaped the matrix, but we're about to escape it. Escape, escape it. Okay? Men mentally we've escaped it. Mentally we escaped it. We're about to financially escape it. Alright? Go Andrew Tate. You know what I'm saying? All day, every day. I support it. I gotta get some water. Mm -hmm. right, so, kind of what I wanted to explain is what the matrix is. Because you won't believe me when I tell you what the really is. I mean, everybody kind of has a certain grasp of it and kind of an idea of what it is. But really, it's, you know that feeling you get when you're at work and at your job and you hate you hate it, you hate being there, you hate having to work for money, and then you have that exis existential dread of having to go to work tomorrow, pay bills, do laundry, all this all this adult shit. All of that shit is meant to keep you in the matrix. The matrix is basically controlled. It's controlled by people who are way more way more financially wealthy than even the 1% of the world. They are the, they are the 0.1% of the world. I tell you what, it's a, it's a scary, scary thing to uh to jump you know what i mean because yeah. you got the you got where you stuck at then you got your fear right here and then you have unknown the unknown and i think the unknown is a beautiful situation <clears throat> you understand what i'm saying the unknown is a beautiful situation because you don't know what could happen right the only thing that's fearing is, is your imagination nothing has happened yet right so when you sit there you're like oh i can't quit my job i got i got this i got this yeah you can you can. Everything will work out. It's it's because you're comfortable in your current situation because someone is paying your bills, someone's writing your checks. Right. So, you know, it's not gonna be for everybody. Let's be honest. Not everybody will want to leave the matrix or or leave the rat race or just leave being underneath the oppressive, you know, capitalism pretty much, right? So no one not everybody wants to leave that. It's not not everybody will. Now, for, we are speaking to those who will, because you're probably watching this because you have, are like-minded. So, with that being said, to get out of it, first things first is to understand what it is and why it's fucking scary. Yeah. And why you need to get the fuck out. Because in reality, if you don't know what it is and you don't know what you're facing, you don't know what you're tackling, you don't know what you're about to go up against. Now, you know, we don't have much influence like Andrew Tate or Sneeko or, or some of these guys who have spoken publicly about these things. You can see them getting deplatformed. You can see them getting, you know, reached out to and, and stopped. And it's because no, they don't want to be stopped. Because everything, they make money off of your emotions. They make money off your hardships. They make money off of everything that, that you go through. Depression, anxiety, um, you know, social media, you know, marketing bodies that are unattainable. Marketing standards are unattainable. They make you. They, it, it makes you feel like you need to be more of something. So th that is what the matrix is. It, everything you. The idea is you work, and they give you little bits and pieces of media to make you feel like you're escaping, or that one week vacation after your corporate job. You know, you get to go to some beach somewhere, and, and you know, for one week, then you go right back to grinding nine to five. You know, in many other countries, the work week is not like how it is here. There's a lot more breaks. Yeah. Like in Spain, there's a, people usually take a nap in the you know, middle of their job. Yeah. They go home, take a nap, have lunch with their family, and then they would have a snack, they would go work out, then they would go back to their job and they're a lot more productive. There's a reason why America's not the number one power anymore, really. I mean, realistically, we're not. Militarily, maybe, but honestly, it's it's not going that way anymore. Yeah. Say it like this, if you if you got a plan, I'll, I'll, it, it, here's step one, <clears throat> right? Yeah, you can do it by yourself, but you gotta get a team, right? Find people that you can trust, find people that you, you know what I mean, that motivate you every fucking single day to do something better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Number two is, man, finding out how to escape the matrix. Find out what your skill is. Someone you, you can bring to the world. You can, you can compete with. Yeah. Really. If, uh, find out what you can bring to the world. Don't worry about, worry about getting money, but worry about what service you can bring to people to gain you the ability to make more money yeah okay. so really anything that people pay for is a service to them it's either convenience or you're solving a problem so if you can solve someone's problem whatever the case may be oh your problem is that you don't want to cut your own grass well you're gonna hire somebody to cut your grass so that's what happens right so you find a niche that you're really good at whatever the case may be well okay let's say you're really good with computers and you can market stuff right that's a big niche right now. There's many small businesses starting up. There's big businesses that have already been established that need marketing. 
you can make a lot of money from that. So there's so many different things you can do to escape the quote unquote matrix. In reality, as long as you work for yourself and your own terms and that you're not you're not getting your time your time is your money. So if you're if you are not a wage slave, as in you're not exchanging your time for your money, instead you're exchanging your skills for money, then your your congratulations, you've now made it out of the matrix. Now, that's step one of physically making out of the matrix. Men mentally you also have to escape it. Because a lot of men, a lot, a lot of, just a lot of people really don't even understand what type of situation we're, we're, we're living in. You know how many friends we have that don't know if they're gonna be able to pay rent? And they're, they're, they have good jobs. <coughs> they don't even know if they're gonna be able to pay rent. Or they, just, they don't know, they don't, if I ask my friends, when, when are you planning on buying your first house? They would laugh. They would literally laugh because it, I mean, what? You know, no one at our age group thinks about that because it's not how, how the boomers were where the, you know, they, they saved this, did that. Houses were cheaper. This house that we're staying in was 300 grand. And it's not even, it's not lavish or anything, but like, that's a, that's a lot of money, you know yeah. what I mean? So, I mean, really you just gotta understand what situation you're coming up against and what you're okay with. I mean, really, I'm not okay working a nine to five. No. I think, I think, I think there's a couple of steps that people need to take. I think you need to find a routine. I think that's the most important thing for you. Yeah. Is a uh, final routine that better mentally balances you. And, uh, and you know certain situations. Um, I think um, I think number two is like I said, finding a niche and finding a skill, right? Maybe you can. Maybe you want to take on four or five things at one time. Something's gonna blow up as long as you keep going on it. Yeah. Um, number three, man, is, is 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 I'm telling you, we say it all the time, man. Get into that gym, man. Yeah. Or do some type of physical activity, something, man. It's gonna help you mentally. It's gonna help you a long fucking way. Long way. <clears throat> when you mean, sitting there, you know all the pressure. Like, man, why am I depressed? Cause you ain't probably ain't getting no sun yet. Mm -hmm. You probably in the house bullshitting right now. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Talking. Playing to Warzone for playing, 12 hours. Beating your cop. Come on, it's, man. You're destroying your testosterone as a man. And in reality, like, you know. There's nothing wrong with being masculine. There's nothing wrong for with For some it. reason, society wants everybody to be feminine and fucking gay. And everybody's wanted, they want everybody to be fucking pussies for some reason. Embrace your masculinity as a man. As a man, you're supposed to have testosterone. Like, it's cool <clears throat> having a girlfriend and shit like that, but it's like, make sure you understand that what it means. there's shit to do, and then later on, fuck with her. There's shit to do, and then fuck with her. You know what I mean? There's shit that you should you have to build you do. yourself. Because, I mean, in reality, inherently, we have, as men, we don't really. There's a reason why men go to wars. There's a higher death rate for men than across the, the world, not just the There's U.S. There's a higher suicide rate for men. Too. Higher suicide rate. It's because we're more expendable. Real, in reality, we're meant to do the hard jobs. We're meant to do all this. Stuff. Not to say that women aren't capable of it, but in reality, let's talk about reality. They're not going to do it. Yeah, of course. They're not. They're just not going to do they're, it. They're 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 about equality, and see, equality is is, is equality, equality doesn't things. serve them. Yeah. You think a bitch is gonna go down to a sewer line and clean some shit up? No, she's not. She wants that corporate job. She wants her nails done. She wants this and that. These motherfuckers. Li listen, man. This this page is for y'all. Increase your mental health tremendously now. Now. Work on yourself now. Yeah, now. Yeah. Be bulletproof. And because the only way you can decline inside your physical locality is to stop working on yourself. The period. If you stop working on yourself and you get obese and you get fucking depressed and you're fucked up. Yeah, you look like shit. Yeah, you ain't getting no pussy. That's why. Because yeah. your value comes from one, your physical fitness, two, <clears throat> your monetary monetary health, so like your financial ability, two, also your knowledge. No one wants to be with a guy who doesn't know anything. Yeah. So raise those skills. The good news is that all of those can be worked on. Nothing can't be worked on. Every you can work on all those three things and you can level up. I mean, there's things that genetics can't help. Yeah. But in reality, there's men and you know people every out there. Every man should be lifting weights. Yeah, every, every fucking man. And, and that's not even like, oh, world. you gotta be some no, hokey man. No. no, it's really mentally. That's the biggest benefit that I've seen from the gym. Mm. Apart from the muscles, apart from like being feeling stronger, mentally, it's be helped me become more confident. It helped me become more structured in my life. And also, it cleared away a lot of the brain fog and the daily thoughts I would have about worrying about stuff. You worrying is your biggest enemy. Why are you worried for? If you can't control it, don't worry about it. Right now, what, what's, what I want you to do watching this video, write down the things that are worrying you. Everything. Mm. 1 through 10. Write it down. 
Now, cross off anything you can't control and circle the things you can control. Those are the things you can change. Otherwise, if you can't change it, you worrying about it won't stop it. Yeah. In conclusion, yeah. just, you know, sack up, really. Yeah. Figure out what you need to do. Even if it's hard, it's easy, just do it. Yeah. Start, so stop turning, oh damn, day one's gonna be Monday. Yeah. Day one's gonna, it's never that gonna come. Gonna happen, man. Just get up and day do one, it. one day, where, say, all right, oh, one day I'm gonna do this, one day I'm gonna do yeah. this. Make it day one now, make it happen now. Because otherwise, if, you know, fuck all the ideas. Action is what makes things happen. Yeah. Action, take action, right now. We have a uh, pretty cool video coming out this week, y'all. Something big, something huge. All right, man. Hoo <laughs>